Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Green Hell. Let's uh, let's just back up a little bit and we'll uh, we'll take a look at what we've got. Uh, this episode, I'd like to get most of the the frames in place so we can we can get the proper walls planned out. I'm not going to actually build the walls just yet because that's going to take a lot of time. Uh, but if we can get the the framework in place, uh, and then we'll probably take a little bit of time to go out and actually you know, explore that road, see where it goes. Probably starting off over at the left, because I think that's that's going to be near to uh, uh, near to the water, because we've seen that the water extends that way. Let's grab some bits. I was having a look at our general status. We do need some pro... Oh my god, I forgot the stingray meat. Um, let's take that. Yeah, this is burned... Okay, we lose a little bit of sanity for it, but we do still get some benefit. So it's it's not entirely terrible burning meat. It's not good. Definitely not good. Uh, but it's not terrible. Let's take the meat soup up and round if we can. Or maybe I should just drink it here. Those meat soups are going to be pretty good. We'll... We'll have the bone infusion. This has just got water in, so we'll drink this and take it up. This has got meat soup as well, so... Yeah, th these ones we could uh, we could gradually move up and around. If I put them near the edge, we might be able to grab them once we're actually up top. Just a, a little bit of jiggery-pokery so we don't spill the soup. And then, early up. Can we reach them from here? We can. Look at that. That is so much better. That way we don't have to go underneath to sort out any of that stuff. We'll also drop these out so that they are ready to gather some drinking water. Uh, we actually have some uh, some water here on the fire that is cooking up, but we've got we've got drinking water ready to go. What I could do is I could spill this and do like a little bit of siphoning. Before we go out cutting things down. You know, it's thirst thirsty work. And actually standing by the fire for a second is benefiting us by uh, by restoring that sanity that we lost from eating the meat. Okay, uh, we want more logs. Logs come from big trees. Big trees, we've got some over here. Oh yeah, we've got some. This would have been an alright place to set up a base actually, looking at it. We'll probably head out exploring in the morning, I think. Feels like it's going to be the most practical. Oh yeah, I heard that that weird thing making noises, didn't I? Definitely worrying. Put you there. Put you there, and then the inside one. So that's ready for the upper level to be done. I'm not going to stop there, though. Can I get more liana yet? No. I mustn't just run through the underbrush. We've got plenty of things that are going to try and kill us. We're going to save just enough energy to be able to hop up there. Okay, let's get more logs and then we'll do a proper run with the sticks. So we've got that log that's definitely going to get picked up. So we can take this tree down as well. Oh, 
I'll drop these here so they're nice and obvious. There we go. This is this is better organization. And then we can do fewer trips and be a bit more efficient about it. Not good with some going down the bottom, but I don't know if there's anything we can really do about that. We could probably drop down safely enough and grab them. So where did they end up down here? There they are. One there and one there and then we can get back up around this side. We are a little bit tired but it's not a problem because we've got a bed back at base. Okay. A couple of runs and these will be all done. One, two, three. We're going to need more than just this, but it is more efficient than we've been doing the collection up until now. What I need is some kind of log sledge like they have in the... Uh, uh, in the forest, that would be very handy. Still hear things scurrying around. In the underbrush. We're good for supplies at the moment, so building is our primary focus right now. Being low on energy does make a big difference to how this all feels. Okay, one more big ass tree would do. That looks like a good target just over there. Yeah, plenty of construction materials over here. What I'll do is I'll drop these and I'll go get a few more. Because we're also going to need long sticks and we can just turn these into long sticks. We know that there's one down the base. So we could pop down and get that as well. There it is. Just to make sure it doesn't go to waste. And then we're going to need a lot of uh, liana. I think we're going to we're going to end up sleeping before that becomes a problem. Just start bringing everything closer. I think this time we'll actually. I oh know we've we've got enough to to get back properly. I don't want to pass out on the ground. That's that's my pretty biggest concern because we've used our bone hooks on the uh, on the dryer. So passing out would be very bad. Yeah, we've got just enough to jump up. Okay, let's get some sleep. We're dirty, so we're going to want to clean up before we um, 
consume anything. But we'll bring the last of these logs across and start cutting them up. Now you'll see I've, uh, I've planned out um, some of the wall bits, the first of the uh, fireplaces as well. Come on, let me get that long stick. There we go. Grab you. Grab you. Yana. Now this is the one that I said was going to be open. Come on, let me put the rope in. There we go. So we're going to have another fireplace bit. Actually, it's going to be on this one, isn't it? Uh, you know what? Let's let's not have it there. Let's have it on this wall instead. Uh, and this will be just a regular low wall. Cool. That's much better. So it'll be exposed. Uh, the the bowls will be able to gather water, and that'll be kind of cool. Uh, we can get some more logs up here. Let's take this plank and put it out the way. We're going to need to get some more vines. Definitely. I'm not going to need to drop off those, those planks because they are going to take up a hell of a lot of weight in our inventory. We don't really want that. Did I really just drop them on me? No. Let's, let's try and position them a bit better. No, a hand drill we want. Okay, that's that's tidier. I'm trying to be careful with the uh, the long sticks to make sure we don't lose them unnecessarily. I think one of them's gone below, which is fine. We'll pop down and get it. So plank down on there. Plank, down on there. Plenty of options for fire starters. We are dirty and thirsty, so we're definitely going to need to get more. Did we lose that long stick? That would be a real shame if we did. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we didn't get two long sticks from it. It's fine. It is what it is. There's uh, there's uh, plenty of other long sticks around. Liana first, though. Let's get our spear out as well, just in case anything comes along. Can we get any from here? Yes, we can. Good, good, good. And it looks like the next one also has some ready for us as well. One more will do for now. Lovely. Okay, let's cut ourselves some long sticks. One. Where did the other one go? There it is. Okay, let's bring it close to the next bit. One, two, three. Where'd the fourth one go? There it is. I 
think I'll actually do this first so we can start building that up with mud. In the meantime, get this all squared away and then this one as well. So two new sections ready for roofing. And we can actually get the walling around here as well. So we'll do that too. I like it. This is, uh, this is really gonna be quite something special. We've got leeches on us, so we want to get them cleared. Let's have a look. Nothing there. Oh my god, we are so dirty. There you are. Be gone. We're definitely going to want to wash up and then have some of our supplies. But we'll, we'll do all the dirty, dirty stuff first, I think. Because if I can get this, this set up, then we'll be in a really good place for storage and cooking and, and just generally living a bit better. I see you. I'm going to put you on the dryer, mate. We need to start getting food that we can carry over longer distances. Bit of mud, bit more mud. We'll use the campfire ash from before. And then we can start loading in dirty water. We could load in the clean water, but I'd rather have the clean water there to, to drink. I'm running the wrong way. And it's only a couple of extra journeys back and forth. We're not traveling super far with this. There's always the chance it's gonna rain as well. You know, it's been a bit of exercise. Keep us, keep us nice and healthy in the jungle. I'm sure, there's a, a benefit to it some somehow. Oh, so close. There we go. We'll just finish it off. Having these um, these last bits to finish off the uh, the cooker is going to be really good. I will do the roof over it as well, so we can have our fireplace upstairs properly. Without a fire, um, sorry, without a roof, as soon as it rains, the fire is going to go out, which is just not what we need. That is looking really nice. Okay, let's move the bowls. In fact, not these ones. Let's move. Let's move the soup across. This is the kind of setup that uh, that I'm planning on having. Food here, drink over there. 
Um, and then we'll have an actual fireplace in, in here where we can uh, cook and, and prepare stuff. Rattler beat, you can go in there. Uh, we need to get a little bit more mud for the roofing. Luckily, one more thing of mud will actually finish this bit off. And then I think we've probably done enough here that we can we can move on and start exploring. Like we're not going to spend the whole day doing all of this. Uh, yeah, take the mud. It's not far for us to to travel back and forth with it, and we've we've got enough supplies that as soon as we're done with this, we can wash ourselves up, get ourselves all healthy again, and and we'll be good. Let's get the water. I mean, we could actually wash up now, and drink some of the water that we've got on us. Drink that, that helps out a little and means we can be a bit more efficient with going back and forth. And we don't have anything else to, to eat on us, so it's just about the soups and inf uh, bone infusions that we've got back at base right now. Although I could grab some bananas while we're clean. eat them, that helps take the edge off a little. Right, any other bananas nearby? Not that I can see. Oh, there's one. Right, that's our carbs all sorted. Let's get the mixing going. bricks on the roof. I wonder if we could build one more platform and just have that as a smooth step up. Once we've got this roof done, I think I'll check to see if that's actually possible. Okay, we need the last brick. Awesome, we have a place for our fireplace. We are dirty, so I'm not going to drink these right this second. Um, but I very much like this. Uh, let's put some clean water in here so that that's ready for meat or something to go in. We'll drop this bowl over here. I feel like we might have lost a bowl somewhere, possibly down below, but that's, that's not too bad. How's the drying coming on? It's going to be a while, isn't it? So I wanted to check just quickly if we could do that. Maybe if we got rid of this. <gasps> this is more for science than anything. It wasn't dropping nuts for us. No, that's not going to work. How about 
a triangular one, no, also not gonna work. How about a balcony? Also not gonna work. It's just uh, just getting too close to the ground, which is fine. I will, however, put all of these out the way over here. Cause that's just super messy. Actually take the dry leaves. And an unexpected plank. A couple of bits of fiber as well, but for the fiber, we've actually got loads. There's no need for more there. Let's drop two bits of dry leaf there. I don't know if we need those banana seeds. Okay. I will load this up with mud. Uh, while we're dirty and um, we'll leave it for the rain next time we'll get ourselves clean and then we'll eat some uh, well consume some soup and go off exploring that seems like a good plan Okay, that is ready for the rain. Let's wash up and uh, fill our bellies. There we go, all clean. Just make sure there's nothing that I want along these edges. I don't think there is. That looks like a bird's nest. Okay, we need fats, we need water, we need protein. Soup will take care of all of those. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these just so that they are out the way. Drink. Uh, I mean, it's all, all meat soup, isn't it? Oh, we have a leech on us. Nothing here. So much nicer being clean. Yeah. Be gone, leech. Uh, yeah, we just need hydration at this point. So we'll have the water. And that's unsafe. That's clean. We'll have that water as well. Cool. We will eventually have, I suppose we could, we could get a fire going and boil some more water. That, mm, yeah, I think that's a sensible choice for us before we go out exploring too much. Really, I should make a little storage box next to the fire for us to store fire, uh, fire making equipment. Uh, this is unsafe, so we'll get that boiling. I'm gonna go get more bad water. Uh, two badoons. You know what, I can do all three actually. I can do all three because I can use the empty bowls as temporary storage nearby. Okay, so one in there. Pull you down onto the ground. Pull you down onto the ground. So you're coming in. You're coming in and you're just like temporary storage. So fill you up, fill you up, fill you up, load in, load in, uh, 
That is one full of good water. And that is number two full of good water. That is number three full of good water. Brilliant. And we've got a little bit of spare right there. Let's, let's actually put that water down on the ground for the moment. I like it. I like it. All right. Before we go out exploring, we could uh, we could get some sleep, go out in the morning, but it's generally pretty light in the jungle. So I think I think we're going to be fine. I will grab more Liana as we go. And on the way back, because inevitably we're going to come back, I'll try and make sure that we bring back some uh, some more long sticks. I can grab more Liana here, actually. So we're just following the road, is the plan. We're going to head over to the left and see what we find there. Put you on the drive, actually, before we go. see where this road goes. We'll grab extra sticks while we're around because they'll be inevitably useful at some point. This does definitely feel like a road. Yeah. Got tracks and everything. That goes straight down into the water. I saw a nut fall. Let's go grab them. Journey snacks. Gotta love it. Also saw a snail along here. There you go. No, bad idea. Come on, let me have the you know what we'll we'll do it this way. Eat. Eat. This is giving us a little bit more energy. Plenty of rocks here. Okay, if this road goes down into the river, let's lead it back the other way. And we'll see where the trail goes. So we're kind of pushing along this way, I think. So at the moment we are facing northeast. So yeah. Up that way. That's how Liana maxed out. Surely this doesn't just stop here. No, it continues a bit further on. Hello, mate. Looks like we have a uh, dead parrot. You know what? I'm going to get the bow out. Kitty. Definitely saw the big cat over there. Is he coming this way? I can see him just sort of through through the roots. <gasps> oh, got him. I'm so sorry, Jaguar. I'm so sorry, but you are not a friendly kitty. Okay, we are quite overloaded with this uh, this cat's meat, so 
let's let's take it back and get more meat soup on the go. And then we'll we'll come out exploring a bit more. Seeing as we're so close by. How much overweight are we? We're not much overweight. We'll drop one stick to get back quickly. Okay. Water. 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 Meat. Meat. Bone. Bone. We'll harvest the body of the parrot. Uh, we'll put that in the drying rack. And yeah, I mean that's that's not terrible for us. It's it's definitely not terrible. I'm glad that we spotted it before we got too far down the uh, the path. Very glad. So much for the plan of coming back and bringing long sticks with us, though. You know what? Let's uh, let's cut a couple while the light is good. Long stick, long stick, long stick. While the light is good, he says, completely unable to see where that last long stick has gone. It's going to be around here somewhere. Maybe we'll find it in a little while. It's fine. It's just annoying is all. If we had that last one, we'd be able to finish all of those off. And then use some more of our Liana for it. You know, we'll just cut this one down. Got you. Got you. We're going to need plenty for the wall around the edge anyway. So having extras isn't a problem. Those in. We will plan for the old roof. We will plan for the walls. And we'll plan for the entry doorway. No, nope, not like that. It's going to be like that. Yeah, this place is going to be awesome when it's finished. It's certainly good enough at the moment. You know what, I'm also going to plan for the uh, for the ladder going up. Not there like that though, it needs to be on this side. Perfect. So now we can grab more Liana and stuff as we're out exploring. And if we find the other long stick, then it would be good. We can make that uh, that path up to the top and have like a little long-term storage area, I think. I, need to rest. I suppose we could get a little bit of sleep before heading back out. It's a shame because uh, hitting the, uh, the big cat has obviously slowed us down a teensy bit. 
in terms of our exploration, but it has given us a lot more supplies, so definitely not complaining. All right, we'll cut down another couple of these and head back with them. Oh no! You gotta be kidding me! That's not a problem. We can make another one. Craft two of those. One of these. Okay, long stick. Long stick. Long stick. Long stick. Let's just take these back to base and then we'll get a little bit of sleep. I'd really quite like it to rain so that I can mix up that new mud. Uh, next, I think, probably here to stop us going over the edge, or maybe the doorway, so that it feels a bit more clean. Let's do the edge, because we could do that with just two. One, two, three, four. Yeah, look at this. Still got lots that we need to do here, but it is, it's looking pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. Our general stats are fine for now. Let's, uh, let's get some sleep and we'll clean up in the morning. And again, we will try to do our exploration. I mean, we did explore part of the, uh, uh, part of the road. So it's not like we were completely useless. Okay, wash up. We're gonna get rid of that leech in a moment, but we'll clean ourselves first. Removing leeches by moonlight. Get out of the water. Okay, nothing on that one. Nothing on this one. There we go. Yuck. Only the two of them this time. We could do with some carbs. We've got some bananas on us and... And for fats, we could have the meat soup, I think. It's only going to give us five fats, twenty-two fats for the for the one down there. You know what? Let's let's have this one because we can always top up with the nuts. Okay, that's pretty good. Back out exploring. Hopefully, not running into any cats this time. <coughs> because we've used so many of our resources between making the fire and making that uh, that ladder. We'll grab extras as we go along. Okay, and we also need a little bit of extra liana if we see it. Probably stick to the road. I'll get the, uh, the old bow and arrow out. Some more capybaras down there. Big roots. Like the, these aerial roots. I've seen these a couple of times in my life. Um, uh, Australia and Singapore are the two places that immediately jumped to mind. So strange.
Where does this road go? Which direction are we going now? No, not N. It's F I want to press. So we're properly change changing to go due east. Was that nuts falling over here? Yes, it was. And then it swings around kind of southwards. Okay, let's have a look at the map. So it's possible it's following like round this way. No, we're kind of heading east again. There's a bit more Liana. Ooh, is that a Brazil nut? It is a Brazil nut. Definitely grab that for for later. So many noises. Like I am I am very worried about everything. We are quite far from our base. We've got a lot of energy. Which means we'd be able to run quite far. I just don't want to run into someone with guns, you know? How are we doing for carbs? We're fine. We don't need to grab bananas. The birds for later. Oranges for later. Did we bring any bandages a couple I'm gonna make some more just in case because I don't I don't want to be far from home get lacerated all over and and not be able to do anything about it so back to the road that we were on. Get the bow out again. I just saw a coconut drop. Is that more nuts as well? It was more nuts. So what the hell? Like the the road sort of comes up here, and then this is way too mud, way too muddy for us to really tell anything about it. Does it keep coming higher? Or does it kind of go around this section? Comes over this way, picks up again. At least it seemed like it did, yes. That tape is? Okay. What is going on here? And then up even further. Where the hell are we? Oh my word. 
What's this? You're not gonna believe what I just found. A city made of gold. What? No, no, it's a Jeep. Well, it's not running anymore, but, you know, there's some useful stuff in it. So it's good news, right? I think so. There's one thing that bothers me, though. I found something that looks like a listening device connected to the walkie-talkie. Crazy, right? That's not good. Do you think someone might be listening to us? Uh, I don't know. This isn't the first strange thing I've found in the jungle, you know. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, there's another walkie-talkie there. This might come in handy. <laughs> if there's a jeep here, who knows what else I can find. Okay, that's actually enough to put us slightly overweight. Let's drop one of the sticks and one of the small sticks. Okay, we've we've definitely got to come back and explore here. Um, but I think, given how far away from base we are, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to run back, and we'll know that uh, we can come along this path relatively safely if we move quickly. Uh, so we'll take these bits back to base and uh, maybe make some storage there for them. A fuel can is very interesting. Not something I would have expected us to find. That's for certain. We just have to hope we can make it back without running into any trouble. Such as big cats or other things that might want to kill us. And we're definitely going to return this way, but I think we'll want to make a little, a little shelter near the jeep so that we can have that as a as a base. Okay, so this was going down this way. Yep, and then it picks up again. And then mount it. There will be more efficient ways of of moving throughout the jungle but while we're following the road we kind of have to follow the road but wow I did not think that we would find a jeep I mean I obviously with the road people have been through here before but it's just not not something you think you're gonna Gonna run into in the jungle, eh? Ah, oh, it's just a little bit too heavy. Uh, let's let's mm, let's eat a banana. No, let's uh, let's eat an orange or two. Okay, well that's gonna be a good point to finish off this episode. Uh, we've got some work that we're gonna need to do uh, back at this base in order to fit. You know, plan how we're gonna take advantage of the uh, look at the fuel can uh, take advantage of um, what we've found in the future uh, so thank you very much for coming along I do hope you have enjoyed this as always if you have be sure to give a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live otherwise I'll see you next time for another episode of Green Hell see you soon